I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is plant adaptations. And that means that the adaptations helps plants survive and thrive in their environments. Okay, this first example is a good one to explain that. So we're going to come up here on the left and just draw a wavy line. And then we come back and we draw a curve line up, down, connect. 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 Inside each space, let's put some dots. And then we're going to draw little straight lines going up and out. And these are spines. And spines are found on cacti or cactus, cacti, instead of leaves. If you were a coyote and you were trying to munch on a cactus that had spines, you would not be able to eat it successfully. So the spines are instead of leaves to protect them from animals that might eat them. That is a plant adaptation. Come over here up on the upper right. Let's put a dot. And we're going to go straight, well, curve line out, up, out, up, out, up, in. We're going to add another one here on the left. Up, up, in between, up, up. Okay. Now, a wavy line out and up connect a wavy line out up connect you can put a little straight well curved line wavy line inside and this is a water lily which is considered a floating plant these leaves adapt so that they can float on the water surface to get sunlight. Okay, that's their adaptation. Now come right here in the center. Let's put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, connect. Right here in the center, curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line down, connect. Come up another layer. Straight line, curve line, and then right here, wavy line, wavy line. This is a tropical rainforest plant, and that has waxy leaves, and it's plants in hot places. Let's add another leaf so we know. Plants in hot places that help the water not evaporate. So that helps them keep their water close by. Next, come over here, put a dot. We're going to draw a circle. And now we're going to go curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up in out in out in keep going keep going keep going now in between spaces add another straight diagonal connect 
all the way around. And what is this? This is a sunflower. In a sunflower, you're going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Let's just draw a wavy line. Curve line up, down, curve line up, down. Sunflowers, let's put some dots in here. Sunflowers survive because of having deep roots come all the way down that you can't even see them. And these are to reach underground water sources. And that helps them survive and thrive. Next right here, put a dot. We're going to go curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Come back to the dot. Curve line out, up, down, up, down, up, down. Curve lines up, down, up, down. And now let's put a curve line and little tiny baby circles. This is a sky rocket juniper. And a sky rocket juniper also has waxy leaves. And this is in order to keep the water evaporating. So they're very tight and close together. Then the next one we're going to do is this. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line up down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Now we're going to draw a little curved line. Come back up, down, and leave it floating. Cur uh, curve line, connect, curve line out, connect, curve line out, connect. Now come to this space and we're just going to draw a curve line out, in, in, in. Come up on the right, curve line down, in, connect, put a little straight curvy line on there, and now come back in and repeat the inside. Put some lines right in here, and this, we're going to draw a little straight curved line with a baby triangle. This is a trumpet flower. And a trumpet flower is a brightly colored flower which attracts insects and birds to help them pollinate. So each one of these plant adaptations has something that helps them survive and thrive in their environments. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my red and color in my baby triangle. Okay? Because this is where like hummingbirds come into the trumpet flower and get their pollination going. Then I'm going to take orange and I'm just going to color this section orange. And I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and put a little bit of yellow on top and in these little openings. Then I'm going to take my regular green and I'm just going to color in this section, which is green. So bees, insects, this is how they pollinate the flowers from going from one to one. Okay? Since I have my green out, I'm going to come over here and do these baby circles green. These are those waxy leaves. And I'm going to come in and do this green. A lot of green because it is a plant. Next, here's my sunflower stem and more leaves. And the tropical one is interesting because it just has a green stripe. My water lily, this is also green. You'll do a better job than me. And my cacti, this space I'm going to do yellow green. They're a bit, little bit lighter. So you got a lot of green. 
Next, I'm going to take my brown. Now the cacti goes directly into the ground. My sunflower goes directly into the ground. Some of these others are also grounded, but not as important. Come up to my water lily with blue-green, and I'm just going to do some water so we know it's in underwater. I'm going to take my tropical rainforest. This space I'm going to make pink, yellow, and orange. And this one is really intense if you go and you Google it and see a whole field of that. My sunflower, I'm going to do yellow center and just leave it white petals. And my water lily, I'm going to do yellow also, just for a pop of color. They come in different colors. As a matter of fact, you can change all the colors on this pretty much. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, it's so interesting to look at these plant adaptations to see how they stay alive with Mother Nature helping them out. Okay, bye-bye.